Defying the online trend, independent booksellers are making a comeback of sorts. More of them and more physical stores across the U.S., around 2,500, up from around 1,600 10 years ago. This according to the American Booksellers Association. We paid a visit to a local bookstore to see if they're experiencing this renewed interest. This is Richard Briggs' retirement plan. I just started the store with about 7,000 of my wife and my books. A bunch of years later, I get boxes of books every week, and then I go to sales, library sales around here, and library sales in Pennsylvania and New Jersey to collect books. Which has left Rick's recycled books in Webster. There's about 30,000 right now. Packed with books, not always with people, but business is good. In fact, he says the Amazon juggernaut never really affected him. I get people all the time from out of town saying, there's nothing like this in the city or the town that I live in. And I mean, we're talking about some fairly good sized cities. Like Kathy Testani, who visits from Long Island. It's like a not, not a place that you normally would find anywhere. So that's what I like. But for literary explorers, these smaller bookstores are places where you can seemingly find anything for cheap. You just have to look, as here, the books are not organized alphabetically. It's easier to find new authors as well, because if you know the genre you're looking for. And sometimes what you find isn't a book at all. They keep coming back if you're nice to them. Um, they meet other people, make friends. I mean, I have people that come in and they'll meet other people and then talk to them for a while. People, some people stay in here for hours <laughs> looking around. <laughs> Briggs says the number of local bookstores in our area hasn't really changed all that much, adding that some local bookstores sell online as well as at their brick and mortar locations and some independent book retailers don't have a physical store at all.